Good morning, Jamming. Oh, good morning, Peter. How are you today? I'm good. I'm good. We were, we were out celeb. We were out celebrating last night because we oh. had um, new, new Year. New Year. So, oh, heavy New Year yeah. last night. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. Today, genial, uh, faster, genially. Happy New Year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I see you've had your haircut. <laughs> yeah, I cut my hair. New Year, uh, uh, a new, uh, a new the face, new the child. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay. What would you like to do this morning, Jamie? I uh, we same that yesterday is okay. Uh, same yeah. yesterday is okay. Yeah. So we try, we try. Say today we have the ninety minutes the class. This okay. thirty uh, one hour. Yeah. Oh, just the eight a.m. in the year uh, in your city. Yes, uh, eight a.m. Oh, very early, yeah. It is early. Um, it would be nine o'clock in the morning for you, yes? Mm. Yeah, nine, nine o'clock in the, my Chinese time. <laughs> level five. Oh, level yep. five? Level five, level six. I can drop it. Well, we'll let, let's have a look. Uh, you like travel, don't you? Uh, traveling, life English, work English. Uh, when I go to uh, like Canada, I want to go to the work in the Canada. So I need the life English, work English, yep. traveling English. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's have a look at what we can. I wonder if there's anything about Canada in here. Let me have a quick look. <laughs> okay, no problem. <laughs> Canada. Oh yeah. Yeah. You have you been to the Canada before? No, I'd love to go. Oh, you love to go. Have you mm. been to China? No, I know. I want to go to China, and I also want to go to Hong Kong. Oh, you want to go to Hong Kong? Oh, yep. Hong Kong very nice. <laughs> Both Hong Kong is very busy, uh, very pensive. <laughs> Anything is okay. Anything is okay. We just the uh, exercise my English, doing my English. Anything is okay. Okay then. Yeah, we have we have a lot of time every day. Uh, today, tomorrow, we every day we have a lot. Of, maybe today we doing the list. Tomorrow we doing the nurse. <laughs> no problem. Okay. Okay, so Canada could limit student numbers to help housing crisis okay can, yeah. okay. what happened okay so first word limit limit yep to stop something from being above a particular amount or level so at this school the number of students in a class is limited to 20. Oh, Ice. Ease. Oh, ease. 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 Also, ease. So, okay, to make or become less difficult, painful, etc. This should help ease the pain in your arm oh. until your arm completely heals. Until it heals. What is a heals? Heals. What is no? Heals so, is <clears throat> to make better. So if you've if you've got an injury, if you um, so let's say you cut your arm, 
and then you, you you know you you'll have a, a plaster or some stitches in it and then as it heals when it heals it gets better okay so it's be it would be back to normal understand yeah, yeah. yes heals Pressure. 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 The influence or effects of someone or something. It's um, hoped that expanding the city's cycle lanes will ease some of the pressure on the public transport system. Oh, transport system. Mm -hmm. Population, yep, well done. Population all of the people or animals who live in a particular place, oh, population. area, uh, country, or area. Yep, yep. Italy's population has been declining since 1970. Yeah. So that means that if it's something's been declining, it's been going down. Okay, so the population of Italy has been coming less and less since the 1970s. Oh. Okay, next one. Immigrate. Immigrate yeah. is the immigration the same? Yes, similar. Immigrant, a person who has come to live in a country that is not their own. Oh, yes. So you I'm an immigrant. <clears throat> yeah, I'm an immigrant because I'm living in Southeast Asia. Oh, yeah, you are immigrated in the Cambodia. Cambodia. Yep. So I was, it says here, I was born in the United States, but my parents came here as immigrants from Mexico. Oh, yeah. Mexico. Okay, and the next one? Boost. Boost. Yep. Boost. Boost. That's it, boost. To increase or improve something. Improve, improve something. I found that listening to music helps boost my mood when I'm feeling down. Feeling down. Okay. Uh, exercise to article. Canada could limit student numbers to help housing the crisis crisis okay canada could limit the number of the of the foreign instant for instance students foreign foreign students foreign foreign students uh visas it gives out to help with the country's housing crisis according to a government minister. Minister, yeah. Minister. Uh, housing minister say, said, uh, Fraser said that the limiting the number of the students arriving uh, in Canada was one possible way to ease is the Pressure on housing. Pressure. Canada is popular with students and including the Luthers in 2022. There were more than 800,000 flaring students in the country. Yeah, so they, they nearly had a million foreign students in the country in 2022. Uh, Oh, okay. That uh, that was in Korea is of the more than half a million on the twenty twelve number. Twenty twelve number. Students are good for the business. International students usually pay more for their into into asian into education 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 and this great news for schools and universities universities 
but they also need places to live. Fraser said the diamond had not it decides decisively did where waiter 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 is waiter yep. yep waiter who limit student arrives but it was one of the ideas being talked about so basically what they're what they're saying jamming is that <clears throat> there wasn't enough houses houses in canada yes that the canada was uh experiencing a housing crisis so there wasn't enough houses and because they hadn't they had a lot of people foreign students coming up coming over which was good which is good for the economy but it was it was bad because there wasn't enough houses for them as well so then they had this idea about to, to limit how many students they allowed into the country but I, I don't think i don't think they did it anyway Okay, so according according to the Canadian the uh, mortgage mortgage uh, and housing the comparison the country needs almost uh, six million new homes by the twenty thirty, but new houses are not being built fast enough that's a lot of homes isn't it they need an extra six million wow six million a lot of home yeah. mm. the country which has the population of around 40 million also planned to welcome 500,000 immigrants per year by 2025 oh my god yeah. And this is the expected to put more pressure on the, uh, on the housing market. Yeah, so and this is expected, expected to es put more pressure on the housing market. Expected. Expected, expected that's it, expected. Expected. However, many people believe the country needs new worker to bolster the incoming in economy 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 and basis said that limiting the number of the immigrants arriving in the country would not be the right to do right yep excellent <clears throat> well done well done very well read okay how many foreign students did canada have in 2022 how many foreign students in canada 2022 a that's oh. right well done okay. and how many new homes does Canada need by 2020? How many new homes does Canada need by 2030? 50,000? Uh, six million. So, oh, six million, six million, six million. Okay. And um, what is the current population of Canada? Oh, uh, uh, what is the Current population in Canada, housing. Yes, yeah, it's uh, current population is forty million. Forty million. Okay. Mm. Oh, what is the? <clears throat> okay, so what are your thoughts on the idea of limiting the number of foreign students to help with Canada's housing crisis? wasn't a very good idea was it oh uh, i my idea in my opinion i think canada don't need money the students 
uh, no no much uh, no money housing no money housing uh, this uh, the, they need the money worker build the housing house yep just one second Jimmy okay okay is there currently a housing crisis in your country oh in my country very very pensive <laughs> it is very pensive house, house very pensive apartment or building a house very pensive in in Cambodia it's cheap yeah yeah it is it's, it's cheap to build and it's cheap to rent or buy oh okay. so what do you live in do you live in a house or an apartment oh i live in the apartment the apartment the apartment oh yeah the apartment three bedroom and two toilet uh one okay. living room one kitchen uh yeah apartment. Small quite apartment. A big, <laughs> it sounds like a quite a big apartment Oh yeah, that's it's big apartment. Uh, countryside housing is house is very big. Uh, yeah. I my home my home my mom uh, the home is very big. The apartment apartment is nearest the city center. We uh, children every day go to school is easy and uh, we go to buy anything in the market is easy. We go hospital we go school we go anything is fast. Okay. Are there many new homes being built in your town or city? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, money, money. <laughs> Most people, they want the uh, money. Uh, they say, oh, okay, I need to build in a new house. I buy the new house. Yeah, in a lot. <laughs> how, how have housing or rental prices changed? in your town in or city in recent years how have housing little place uh in my town oh two hundred dollars three hundred dollars one month two toilet two part uh bedroom in my oh, that's 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 not too bad 200 to 300 a month that's that's yeah. dollars yeah yeah, dollars, two hundred or three hundred dollars one month. In 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 my hometown, this the this the hometown, this uh small city, no big, no very big city. Okay. Is it more common for people in your town or city to rent or own their homes? Uh, no, com no common, no uh uh that, that's not here half the money uh worker uh other side of work so no more no more what do they do then so most people rent or do they buy oh oh sorry sorry most people they rent. rent in yes. china we house is expensive so most people rent the house uh they just they bought buy the house when they buy the house they they just the paid a lot of money they don't have more money they don't money paid a lot <laughs> okay and let's see oh we've got further discussion okay i know the answer to this one could you see yourself living and working in canada yeah in the future uh i working in the canada i have the job of to canada uh in the i live living in the canada in the future maybe 2024 last year yeah yep are there a lot of foreign students in your country no foreign students in my country uh in big city oh yes yes china now have the foreign students uh any countries <laughs> okay and if you had kids would you encourage them to study abroad 
Yeah. Uh, I uh, I encourage my kids uh, study abroad, both uh, learning the, a lot the technology and the English or the something. Uh, just the good uh, doing the job, want the job. <laughs> okay, good. Do you know anyone who has moved abroad for study or work? Yes, in my in in my hometown, uh, Fujian Palmers, a lot of people uh, moved uh, abroad. Uh, first one in the US have a lot of the Fujian Palm uh, people. Yeah. Okay. And what advice would you give to someone who has just moved to your country? What? Uh, uh move to my country uh, move to my country i think uh uh here very cheap <laughs> uh good good cheap uh cheap the house cheap the food cheap the agency <laughs> no another <laughs> other move other work yeah okay let's have a look at the next one yeah. Life, please. I like this. Thank you. Mm. It come. What happened? It can be business. What happened then? <sighs> Mm -hmm. Oh, you sound tired. Mm. Uh, anything? Yeah. So hike from Mexico to Canada on the Pacific Crest Trail. Hike, okay. Yeah, hike from Mexico to Canada on the Pacific Crest Trail. So, so the first word. Okay. Uh, hike. Hike. Yep. To walk a long distance for pleasure, especially in the countryside. Oh. We did. We did a lot of hiking during our trip. To New Zealand. Or oh, hiking to New Zealand. Yeah, so it's it's like this. Look, there, there are people oh, yeah. hike, hiking hiking through the mountains. Do you love hiking? Do yeah, love I do. Hiking? I do in the I do in the countryside or or in you know places of natural beauty. Yes. Oh, <laughs> I think they're amazing. Mm. Okay. And the next one. Trail. Trail. Yep. There are numerous hiking trails in the area. So the path that you follow. Oh, it's a bit slow today. Oh, yeah, the path that you follow, look, that is a trail. Oh, you yeah. The, you can see the trail going up the mountain up there, look. Oh, yeah. When you go to the mountain and you go to the countryside, uh, uh, no big the road. You say, oh, he have the trail, uh, animals trail or people's trail. <laughs> That's uh -huh. right. Good. Well done. Um, okay. Next one. Border. 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 An border. official, an official line that separates two countries, or states, oh. etc. This oh. wall is the original border between Scotland and England. Oh yes, the, uh, Cambodia, the near the, the Vietnam, the Lao. <laughs> yep, yep, and Thailand as well. We have the border oh. with Thailand. Oh, okay. Okay. And the next Peak. one. Peak. Peak. Yeah, the highest point of a mountain. Oh. Oh, here, uh, when you come to the mountains, you, 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 
you're hiking to hill uh peak oh yep so this peak is the tallest in the entire region this peak tallest in the entire region volcano volcano yep. a hill or mountain with an opening in the top through which lava gases etc are being <coughs> or have been forced out mount fuji in japan is actually an active volcano oh yes in japan so, have a lot yep. of in, uh, yep. so that's yeah. the uh, that's the volcano mount okay. fuji yeah you china Xinjiang have the Xinjiang palms have a lot of the volcano uh, volcano oh. volcano palms Xinjiang. Yep, they're very powerful things, volcanoes. We don't really know, understand enough about them. Permit. Yep, an official document that gives permission to do something. Mm. You need a permit to park here. Oh, yeah, permit. Uh, when there's something, say, okay, sorry, don't come to the here. Uh, no, uh, don't permit. Okay. Okay. So hike from Mexico to Canada on the Pacific Crest Trail. Okay. Long the western coast of the United States, there is a 4,289, 86, sorry, 86 kilometer hiking trail uh, now as the public crest trail. Pacific Crest Trail. Pacific class trail. Okay. The trail goes from the US, US Mexico, about the to uh, British uh, Columbia. Columbia, yeah, British Columbia. Oh, British Columbia is in the British Columbia, Canada, and poses tough salmon uh, national parks parks. Uh, Ecolos, Ecolos, uh, California, uh, Oregon, and Washington. It offers of hiking everything from the distance to mountain packets, the vine covers. Volcanoes, yeah. Oh, volcanoes, volcanoes. In in southern california uh hiking hiker hiker can visit uh igula uh igula rock and it's see eagle the... eagle rock eagle look okay oh animal eagle look and see the nurse trail look in the sub of ho H O and in the certain certain of central central Oregon 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 Jefferson uh, Oregon Jefferson Park is popular for its beautiful follow followers followers The, the Washington uh, station of the trail stays at the bridge of the Gulf, uh, 566 uh, meter long major bridge that takes hiker across the Columbia River. Columbia River? Yeah, Columbia River. Columbia River, a tough, a tough plants. Although, 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 although plants for the trail began in the 1970s, is it wasn't officially opened until um, 19, 1993. Today, the public carries the trail welcomes. A thousand of people every year. Okay, let's have a look at this. There we go. Oh, it does look nice, oh. isn't it? Oh, this very nice, the beautiful uh, 
at least. Yep. Uh, okay, will you, will you wait, wait to me, I switch. Okay. got this one for an hour and a half yeah student <laughs> 